Mounding Formation In this training, we will focus on how to maintain a mounding formation. A mounding formation is a formation created by permitting multiple plants to grow together in a rounded mass. Mounding formations are often many times wider than they are tall, and at BYU, mounds often function as an informal hedge in areas where a squared-off hedge might not look as appropriate, but a barrier is still wanted. A mounding formation does not refer to a particular plant species, and in fact many plant species can be trained to mound. The decision as to whether or not to train plants to mound is determined on a case-by-case -case basis by the landscape architect, the gardening supervisor, and the arborist. We've been given the following guidelines for mounding formations. We round the top and edges of the mound. We use natural target pruning to help maintain a more healthy natural appearance and to help slow down the growth rate of the plant. And like we talked about in the general pruning segment of our training, when plants need to be reduced, we thin out the older, thicker stems and vary the lengths of the stems that form the outer edge of the canopy. As far as boundaries go, our current grounds director prefers that we maintain larger background plants at either one-third or two-thirds the height of adjacent structures for artistic reasons. And for ease of maintenance, we typically choose to maintain our plants at no taller than one-third the height of adjacent structures. We also want the plants to fill the space they were designed to fill, but we do not allow plants to grow out of bounds and overrun things like plants not intended to be part of the mound, fire hydrants, valve indicators, floodlights, landscaping rocks, etc. This is the end of the mounding formation segment of our training video. We realize that when it comes to maintaining plants with a mounding formation, there's a lot of room for personal preference. But we hope that this training will give you a better idea of how we prune mounding formations at BYU.